The D man. Yeah, shout out my nigga from D's Media. You feel me? <laughs> Yo, it's your boy D's Media back again with another video. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel on the road to 100K. Today, we got some good news for the Young Thug case and the YSL trial. Let's jump straight into it. Lead prosecutor on the Young Thug, YSL, Rico, and the Donald Trump case. Uh, lead prosecutor Fannie Willis just admitted in court that she was having a... a uh, affair or relations with special prosecutor uh, Nathan Wade. Uh, this right here is a conflict of interest because, like I say, um, it, it it looks like she only got this case and was appointed on this case because she was sleeping with a special prosecutor. At least that's what the defense is trying to make it seem like. But let's jump straight into it. Um, Donald Trump put this news out. He was also the one to put out the news that Fannie Willis was having a um, uh, was having an affair with um, a blood gang member, uh, a.k.a. Uh, Big Nut. Uh, this is Lucci's friend who was allegedly that young thug and them aspired to allegedly kill over some gang retaliation stuff. Um, he dropped that news. He also dropped this news. And one thing that we got to remember about Trump is Trump money money run long like like train smoke you know he could pay private investigators he could pay for for stuff that you thought would never come to the light to come to the light but you know um she 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 put a target on her back by going after trump uh and not really gonna say the wise self but when she went at the at the trump you know his political power and you know his his like i said his money longest train smoke you know that was a tree that she probably sh didn't want to bark up but as of right now she didn't lose her job but i definitely don't see her being able to prosecute any more cases at least until this is settled um but maybe you know the state of georgia may keep her on the wide sale in the donald trump case until they figure this out but as of right now by these coming out it's looking like she was just handed her Handed her job because, you know, she got lucky and slept with a person, you know. But at the end of the day, whether it's right or whether it's wrong, all you need is to raise an eyebrow. And in, in this case, I believe that they're going to probably move to take her off of the off of the wide sale case and the Donald Trump case. Because, like I said, it just doesn't look good. And by her admitting it in court, which she had to admit it anyway, because if she would have lied in court, that would have been perjury. And like I say... They got the evidence already in your face. It was nothing she could lie about, you know. Uh, but in this case, it's a win for YSL because, you know, if they get the lead prosecutor off and then get somebody, a new prosecutor, they got to fill her in on everything on what's going on versus a lady who used to work as a defense attorney for YSL. She knows everything. So if they get her off the case, you know, it's a good chance Thug can beat it. But it's your boy D's Media signing out. But Fannie Willis, uh, the lead prosecutor on the Donald Trump and the uh, um, YSL Rico case, just admitted in court that she was having an affair with special prosecutor Nathan Wade. And this is causing a big, big controversy for the state of Georgia because, like I say, it's starting to look like she only got the position she was at and the type of case she got because of who she slept with. And that's a conflict of interest. It's your boy D's Media signing off. The D, man. Yeah, shout out my nigga from D's Media. You feel me? <laughs>